What's going on guys, Squarepants here, and we're back with some Guild Wars, and this guy here, that's the Char Warrior that we created last time, named Squarepant. But, let's get right back into the action, because last time we left off, I just made the character and that was basically it. So, we're starting fresh, right here. <clears throat> Soon as it loads. Alright. Sword. Over here, soldier. I've got new orders. Fight your way to the front. Let's go, boys. Hey, over here. So what's cool about this game is you have weapon-related skills. It depends what weapon you're holding. Like, whatever weapon you're holding, it changes whatever skills are available in your slots down here. And because I've never used a sword before on this guy, I haven't unlocked all of them. And as the more I use it, the more I unlock. So right now, there, now I've unlocked the final thrust, which is the third skill. Basically, um, the first three are your main hand. Your main hand weapon, and then the second two are your offhand, so I can either hold Need another sword help, or Tribute like a shield or something, and they'll have different skills for either of those. To turn up to make it. What's so important that the Blood Legion Tribune is there? The ghost of Duke Beridan is far more powerful than we thought. His army just broke through our defenses. Ritlock's about to fight him head on. If he succeeds, It'll be weeks before the ghost reforms, and we can rebuild our perimeter. On my way. Yeah, and then these skills, 7, 8, 9, and 0, or whatever, these final four. This one's a healing skill. Every class has their own kind of healing skill, and you can change it. As you unlock skill points, give you a quick little preview here. Get skills and traits. So weapon skills, these are all the kinds of weapons I could use. The sword as my main hand or offhand. So offhand I have two different two different skills. I can use a two-handed hammer, I can use a longbow, an axe. I think a warrior can pretty much use every weapon available almost. Maybe I should start fighting these guys instead of just getting hurt. What am I supposed to do? Go to the crypt gate. And then you can dodge as well. Like I can roll. So if somebody's about to do a big powerful attack on me and I don't want that. Like that guy could have dodged that explosion. Roll out of the way. And that's your kind of have an endurance type bar here. So you're basically allowed two dodges instantly Hurry, if that's full. And then you have to wait till it refills to whatever halfway point, and then you can do another one. You go on. I'll be right behind you. Strike your full lunge. Okay, so. Watch out, there's a rat! Don't worry, go on, guys. Alright, let's go. Ghostway is defeated. Yeah, so then there's, this is kind of a worldly event, and then anybody can come in and join. If anybody else is in this particular zone at this time, they can help me out. In doing this and the more people that show up the more enemies the enemies get stronger the more people there are so it's not just a cakewalk when there's like 10 people it's still a challenge in some cases this one dude. Powerful guys. 
What is this thing? Once I get out of here, I just gotta finish this, finish killing this dude, you know. Oh, there you go. I heard what you did down in that crypt, soldier. Impressive. Tribune Brimstone was calling the shots. I just did my job. Don't sell yourself short. You were part of the team that took down Baradin and stopped the ghost assault. Smokestead is safe now, and you helped make it that way. Safe. People are still on edge, though. It'd help if they saw someone like you Excuse making the rounds. Me. Lending a hand. The quicker we get this place squared away, the sooner the legions can get back to business. You can help. I'd rather have volunteers. But if I have to issue an order, I will. That won't be necessary, Legionnaire. I hereby volunteer. I volunteer. Let's do this. So, yeah, I could take... Some quests and stuff. If, as you complete your story, which is this green kind of that's that's your main thing. You just follow that along, and you'll get through the game slowly. But sometimes when you do certain missions and stuff, you get to unlock items. Now I got big you. Smokestead lies outside the Black Citadel on land we took back from the humans. It's our base of operations for These further expansion into this region. These hearts are essentially quests. They're what quests north, would be in a different from the other MMOs. They've kind of eliminated the whole questing thing. Oh, I have mail. Alright, I'll go do one, uh... We'll do one of these hearts, one of these quests, and then we'll... Maybe this way, what am I doing? And then we'll call that an episode, we'll continue on... Later, so let me guys... Let me guys, let me know. If there's anything you'd like to see me do in this game, anything... That would interest you, help me make some decisions on the... If you want to see a certain weapon type, I can do that. What's going on here? So right now I think we're just waiting for these guys, the flame le yeah, flame legion dudes are attacking this place, so we they come in waves, so we're just waiting for them to come, and then we'll dominate them, and then we'll win. Finish this little event. 
And anybody in this game can revive. If someone's dead, you can anybody can go up. If more people go up to revive the same person, they revive faster. Oh, I didn't mean to attack you. I'm so sorry. Shield bash. There we go. Sweet. Oh, I got my old gun. And as you complete these hearts or these quests or whatever, you they send you mail with whatever, a little bit of money. And they thank you for all your help and whatnot. And then you can usually go talk to the guy. Hold on, I'm gonna finish this first. Just one more wave. There we go. But uh, then you can go talk to these guys. And you get karma for doing stuff. Karma's a kind of a currency type thing that you could use to buy things from karma vendors. Karma merchants, sorry. So for example, I can buy that and then now I have a little yeah here's my guy so you can equip different things in your back accessory rings amulets but yeah that if you have any questions let me know and we'll uh, just continue right from here on the next episode thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this one um yeah any questions let me know anything you want to contribute just post them in the comments below thanks for watching guys we'll catch you later bye bye